It's day three, Fitness Business Summit 09. And first up is me. I'm going to be uh, sharing some secrets on how to do Facebook ads, how to run a beta program, and a cool thing called Kick.com. I think it's Kick. Could be Quick. Anyways, QIK.com. Check it out. Uh, I'll be checking in with the rest of the speakers and uh, we're at Fitness Business Summit 09. I'm having a great time, learning a lot of information to apply to my business. And uh, love for you guys to come next year, be here. It's going to be a blast. Great. You're gonna use, you think you make some money off what you learned? Oh, yeah. Gonna make planning on making by the same time next year 100K. All right. Great. Thanks, Ron. Some of the things you want to include in a media kit um, any recent press releases that you've done that you want to include. Obviously, any uh, articles that you've published. Now, I wouldn't print out all of your blog posts or things like that, but anything that's a recognizable article that has been published. If you haven't been published in your local uh, media yet, then pull any web articles that you have. Anything that has your byline on it that says, by Mike Jones, is, adds to your credibility. I would also have a bio, and I would have a professionally taken photograph. Please, 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 guys, in this industry, I have seen that we are not big on having professionally taken photographs. We think that if we stand outside and have our buddy take our picture, that that's going to work. But that doesn't work if you're the expert. Start thinking of yourself as the expert in your realm, and an expert would have a professional team. My name's Doug Rice. I'm from L.A. or Beverly Hills, and, uh, man, this has been great. A lot of get really inspired and motivated, and just you, you're around a bunch of other achievers, and you really just want to go out and just kick some butt. So it's, it's been a great experience. Okay, we just wrapped up the speakers of the morning. The first one kicked ass. It was me. And then we had Shelby Murphy, who uh, went over how to use publicity to drive more people to your sites, to just uh, boost your credibility. Now we're taking a short break, and we'll be back with Greg Justice, who's going to go over um, something. <laughs> something good. Uh, hey, it's Brian Ortiz, Ortiz Fitness. I came all the way from Brooklyn, New York. Um, yeah, I tried over six and a half hours for this. It's definitely been more, more than I can say. It's over. Definitely, every presenter is over delivered. I've been doing this. I've been in this industry for over five years. I've went from virtually being a broke trainer to absolutely you know, killing the market in Brooklyn, New York. I've got so many ideas. Can't wait to get back to Brooklyn so I can really kill it. So All right. definitely won't work. More importantly, I've established relationships with a whole lot of CEOs. And CEOs. Hi, Holly. Hi. My name's Holly Binkley from Hemet, California, and I came to this seminar trying to find out everything I could learn about personal training, and it's been awesome. I've learned... Uh, much more than I ever dreamed of, and I'm going to take it as far as I can. All right. Great. Thank you very much. The average annual salary of a personal trainer is $27,500 a year. We as an industry have to do better than that. Um, but I wanted to make that point to show you the value of spending 30 minutes a week with one corporate contract. I charge $249 per participant per 12-week session. You can get up to four 12-week sessions in a year. In a company the size 100, just in general, is kind of the average, uh, 100 participants, or I'm sorry, 100 employees in a, in a business, you're going to get on average of about 25% participation. Just My name is Michael, I'm from L.A. All right. And uh, what's up? What do you think of the summit? Oh, summit is summit is crazy, man. Summit is crazy. My head almost exploded. Um, who was your Who was your favorite speaker? My favorite speaker was uh, honestly Viz Delmani because that's where I want to go to in the future. Just the way he is, like I kind of relate to him a little bit. But uh, that's great. Steve Hockman, Steve Hockman killed it too. Yeah. Came up with shackles. So. Yeah, I thought this guy was all right. <laughs> I was gonna say he's right here, man. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. What about me? I'm balls. about to get it. I know. <laughs> the dude is standing right there. <laughs> All right, so we're on you. the verge of wrapping up. We've got one more presenter, and it's the man himself, Pedro Esculian, one more time. He's going to be going over how to effectively use EFT to leverage your business. And if you look, everybody is submitting their vote for the best speaker because each speaker at the conference um, presented which one they. Uh, charity, which is their charity, and whoever gets the most votes is the best speaker. Pedro's is donating $2,500 to, to whatever charity that is. So, as you can see, everybody's uh, putting their stuff in. So, we got one more speaker, and uh, it's Pedro's again, and then I'll check. Another funny picture. You know why I did this? Joe Bauer, <laughs> there's this guy named Joe Bauer, and he says, you know, when you're doing PowerPoint presentations, you need one big picture 
and just a general concept. Well, EFT is all about recurring money. So I'm looking for all these pictures, and I can think of just putting every every slide would have just a stack of money on there. That'd get pretty boring. So I just typed in jackass into uh, Google Images, and uh, so we're gonna have a good time watching a lot of donkeys doing funny things. <laughs> <laughs> I got a word of humor. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Ryan Bischel from Palos Verdes. Uh, I'm actually in the work in the North Orange County area, and uh, I want to tell everybody who was debating on the value side: should I spend money? I can't even. I'm still like asleep from last night. So all the ideas, everything I'm learning, I'm still writing things down. Um, wake up! At, I woke up at or didn't go to sleep. It was like 12 and one, two different times. I actually, got up and went and wrote things down on my laptop. Went back to sleep. Got here. Uh, got up six in the morning. Could be here by seven. Great opportunity. You will get your value 30,000 times over. Per, probably every time I say this, it's gonna go up to 40,000 times over. But uh, see you guys all here. Hey, next so week. I found the man himself. Got him uh, just for a minute here, and let's uh, see what his thoughts are. Bedros. Hey, what's up, everybody? This Fitness Business 709, that's your third one. Third one. I think it's the best of the three. I've been at all three of them. You know what? I'd, I'd have to totally agree. It's the best of the three. Every year gets better and better. It, it does. Capacity crowd, sold out crowd, and, and the feedback has been awesome. And the only thing I want to say is, those of you who didn't make it, I really hope you make it next year. And I thank you to all my clients and customers because this has been such an awesome event that I'm so lucky to be able to put an event like this on. I, don't know, I just feel really fortunate. I just want to thank everybody. Yeah, it worked out great. I can't wait till next year. Yes. All right. That's it. Pedro's just wrapped it up. All that's left are the fast action bonuses, which apparently I'm not allowed to videotape because they're doing some pretty secret stuff. So next year, you got to come. you got to come see what's going on. Pedro's just told us how to do EFT right, how to implement that in your business, how to transfer old clients that are doing, you know, paying you check by check, how to move them over, what days of the month to bill on, systems to use, programs to use. He absolutely killed it as usual. All right, so that's it for the Fitness Business Summit 09. I freaking loved it. I had a great time, learned so much. Can't wait to get back in my office tomorrow morning and, and just uh, put, put all this good stuff to use. All right, uh, that's it for now. Visit PT Power. One more closing thought as we, as we uh, head out here from the Fitness Business Summit 09. Just one thing to share with you on how great of a guy Pedro's Culean is. I joked about how I was going to keep his freaking flip cam because it was better than the one I had. He actually gave it to me just for videotaping it over the weekend. So thanks to Bedros for an awesome experience. I will be back next year.